Has this ever happened to you? You went to do laundry. After you insert your clothes in the washer and press the start button, whoa, you receive a DC error and you are stuck. I know how it feels because this happened to me and today I'm sharing my experience of how I managed to fix the DC error on my Samsung front load washing machine. Do stay with me. Hello and welcome back to Ian's Gadgets. In today's video, I'll be sharing my experience of how I managed to fix the DC error on my Samsung front load washing machine. I will also share the major causes of the DC error and the best solution for the problems. A DC error on your Samsung front load washing machine means that your washer will spin because the load is unbalanced. So the first step would be to try and redistribute unbalanced load. This could provide an immediate solution to the problem. A single or small item load could also uh, result in a DC error code. In such a case, you had better add a few garments to your load and see whether it clears the, uh, the DC error code. So just uh, check in your drum. If you see like you have a small item, you know, you can add more garments. When you add, make sure to balance them, yeah? Just balance them, distribute them the uh, right way and see if it clears the DC error code. So in my case, the problem seems to have been unbalanced load. You see, after I distributed the load, I added in more garments and, you know, made sure that the load was evenly balanced. The machine is now back into action. As you can see, uh, my laundry is continuing and my machine is washing perfectly. So the issue was uh, the unbalanced load, which I've managed to fix. But if you've done this and you're still uh, seeing the, the, the DC error code, then there are other fixes that I'll show you how you can go about, you know, identifying them and fixing them amicably. If this does not clear the, uh, the DC error code, it could be one of the other problems. So the first is for you to check whether your machine still has the shipping bolts. These transit bolts could be the cause of your DC error. So not removing the shipping bolts could cause severe vibrations that can damage your machine permanently. So it's very, very, very important to always make sure to remove the shipping bolts before you begin using your Samsung front load washing machine. Just use a spanner and remove them one by one. And when you remove the shipping bolts, keep them safe because when you move your machine in the future, you require them to keep the tabs safe while in transit. If you're still stuck with the DC error, even after removing the shipping bolts, now you need to make sure that your machine is leveled. An unleveled washer could also cause a DC error code. You can use a leveling device like a spirit level to find out whether your machine is leveled. If the floor is not leveled, you can move your machine to a place where the floor is leveled so that uh, you don't receive this the error because of your machine not uh, being left. If for some reasons that's not an option for you, you can adjust the fit of your washing machine until you achieve a perfect level of your machine. If that does not work for you and you're still stuck with the annoying DC error code, you now need to check your pump filter to make sure that it's not clogged. 
a blocked from filter could also cause your machine to display the DC error code. Before you open the pump filter, it's advisable to use the emergency hose pipe to drain water from the drum. If you do not do so, a ton of water could spew from the drum and flood the floor of your house. Remove all the debris you find in the pump filter. A clogged filter is also the main cause of many Samsung error codes including the SUD error and the 5C error code. That's why it's advisable to always clean your pump filter every 3 to 4 months. I hope the tips in this video will help to solve the DC error on your Samsung front load washing machine. But if after you've tried all the above fixes in this video and they have not worked for you, it could be that a damper shock or suspension spring could be broken. If that's the case, I'd advise you contact a service technician to help you replace the respective part. I have invaluable videos on how to fix the 5C error code how to fix the 4C error code, as well as how to fix the SUD error code. I'll leave the respective links in the description so you can go have a look at them. I've previously done a comprehensive video on how to maintain your Samsung washing machine. Now, I believe this video is very, very important. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go watch and uh, I believe you can learn a thing or two that can help your machine to run optimally. We've come to the end of today's video. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing so you get to know when I post more gadget videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up, I'll truly appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye bye.